All right, what's up, everybody, and welcome to the Wild Wormhole YouTube channel. It's been a minute, but uh, we're playing some Keep Forge, and uh, I am recording a match between D Merc and J Bray, uh, two uh, Wild Wormhole teammates, and uh, doing uh, actually doing a little practice game for Coat Eight, uh, which is sort of like an escalation league where the sass increases each week. Should be fun. Uh, Daniel's rolling with Gloria Rip Romp, the fifth. You can see Brobnar Logos Untamed. And then uh, we've got Jim down here with Zerbeck, the Mage of the Martians. Uh, you can see the deck list there. And let's go ahead and get this uh, get this game going. Um, so let's see. Daniel with the Brobnar Logos Untamed, a couple punches got a coward's end doubled bouncing death quark lots of board control here um also some lost in the woods um phase shift library access uh interesting stuff here for sure good old coda deck guess another good old coda deck uh we've got some time travel double mother library access rocket boots this is Pretty solid for a Logos package here. Mars has Key Abduction, Double Grabber Jammer, Untamed, a couple Save the Packs uh, with Choda. Got, so two key cheats in here. And uh, and here we go. So Jay Bray uh, gets going right away with the Flaxia for a quick two. Wasting no time. D Merc with the logos call. Psychic Bug, one of the stranger cards from uh, from Coda, but to look at their hand. Hand information is helpful. Quickso comes out. Type mechanic. All right, setting up a little board here. J Bray Jim back to the untamed. Flaxia kills Quixo. Oh, right into the vigor play to be able to heal an extra one. Get two uh two damage out of that. That's nice. Troop call, mushroom man. It's so funny. Sometimes I like forget about these coda cards because I try to just play like the most recent set just out of sheer boredom of old sets. And uh it's so like Mushroom Man. I was like, I forgot that's a card. Um, so J Bray is well, he was at a check, but uh, D Mark or D Merce gets uh, the Niffles out, the Niffle Queen boosting up the guys and Nocturnal Maneuver exhausting a couple other guys. J Bray with the logo, Time Traveler, drawn cards. Lab work, mother, here we go. Doc booked in. Here's some efficiency. Another Doc booked in. Two Doc booked in. Valent Analyst. Talk about board state. And th this is an interesting deck because it does have some artifacts uh, uh, that he can take advantage of in this deck. Um, oh, you know what? I'm thinking about a different deck. Never mind. I'm not actually seeing any... Any artifacts? Yeah, that's a different deck we were playing. All right. Seen Brobnar coming out. Punches the time traveler in the face. Troll comes out. Crump is coming out. All right, so it looks like Jim will be able to forge a key. Jim being Dr J Bray. J Bray UK. The UK stands for University of Kentucky, not the United Kingdom, in case you were curious. Ooh, double bo dot book dot, dot book doc booked in. 
reaps to draw cards. Seems okay. Uh, but doesn't seem like he drew into any logos because he didn't play anything. So just burst it up to five amber and just trying to forge ahead. Sometimes in Mario Kart, you just got to hit those mushrooms. Keep going. We'll see what kind of answer uh, D. Merce has. He's got two of each creature on the board right now. Kind of puts him in a weird spot. All right, so going Brobnar. Mugwump. What a name. All right, so Crump is fighting Jay Bray's mother, which I find extremely rude, but... Uh, and then Troll's going to reap. But Jay Bray's up. One Q, four Amber to D Merce is four Amber. No keys. Again, both of these decks are below 60 sass. I don't know exactly what their score is, but... Um, but that is what you're seeing on the board right now. I love how you... It, it's almost like these creatures are coming out of the, the wormhole here. It's very satisfying aesthetically to me. Look at this hand. Jaybray, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, with an archive. And Doc booked in. Yeah, reaping again. Why not? Draw a couple cards. Valen Analyst. And he plays another mother. Wow. Okay, so just goes up to seven amber, but he's got a giant hand. You got to wonder if he's going for maybe the key abduction play, drop a bunch of Mars guys. Or uh, maybe, you you know, Chota key charge. J Bray firmly on the gas. Psychic bug. Oh, looking at looking at uh J Bray's hand. Squawker, Grabber Jammer, Zorg, Halicor, save the pack, key ab okay, so we do have key abduction in there. Vigor, Life Web, John Smith, Nifflape. So yeah, potentially a uh key abduction coming up, but we'll see. <laughs> Research smoke o drop. The lab work, archiving, fogify, no fighting. I don't think he wants to fight, honestly. Oh, there's the death cork. That'll help him slow Jim down a little bit. But Jim does have a ginormous hand about to drop. Kills his own smoko. Gets to archive the top card. Kills one of the dot, doc, but why do I keep wanting to say dot booked in? Doc booked in. Kills Jim's mother again. Very rude. And the Titan mechanic. Kills the psychic bug. Yeah, so basically getting his logo stuff out of the way because he just, you know, played a bunch of logo stuff thinking he's probably not going back into it. Kills the Valen analyst and the Niffle Queens. Oh, man, he's just going all the way. He's just clearing that board. <laughs> But he does have a lot of board control in there. All right, so decide to just get rid of all of Jim's board to try to catch up here. Um, man, I, I get why he killed Crump off, but I don't know. He's probably got some elusive guys in here that he could use uh, that mechanic to make him lose. Amber, tough call. I guess not. It's just John Smith, it looks like. All right, so so Jay Bray Jim's got a few options. He is going Mars. I don't think he quite has enough to uh, do the key abduction here, but he can clear out a lot of cards in his hand. Yep, Squawker readies John Smith, which readies Grabber Jammer. Is able to reap. Does he have anything else? Make him capture one, pull him off one, pull him off check.
Is he mathing it out? Okay, Phosphorus Stars drops. Zorg comes out. All right, that's it. So Jim finishes at four. Uh, the, cha the chains will hurt the key abduction a little bit, but um, probably not too much. All right, so Demers gets his first key, goes to Untamed. I was going to say, probably you need to see some hunting witches out here. Niflate. Troop call. Get the Niflate back. Here we go. Got the queen. Got the ape. Hunting witch doing some work. Another, another Niflate. Wait. Uh, he had two Niflates? He should have played both and then troop called. Yeah, there's two Niflapes, so he, he... Niffle creature. Oh, yeah, he... Unless... Were they in the discard? I missed something. Okay, sorry. In all that... <laughs> Didn't matter. Grabber Jam... All the reaping. Key abduction. <laughs> all right, so that'll do it. That's the, that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed. Nice, quick code of matchup under Sass. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.